So this is the final top layer spray that I'm doing. My spray technique is a bit, bit, bit QRF, bit goofy. Not really nice long sprays, but I'm trying to trying to match it and trying to layer it out so it kind of all looked the same. Um, <laughs> yeah, really not the best example of how to use a, a spray can. I don't think. And as you can see how I got that bit of paper on the left hand side, it, 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 later on in the video it did leave a definite line which then I sanded that down. So this lacquer going on after a little bit of a dry, obviously it's been cut. This is um, Halfords Pro Lacquer, no, it's quite good, I had four coats of that on. As you can see, as you can sort of see that line right in the middle now. So then, move to doing the inside. So, in all my wisdom, I've got to blend in this and this. So, I'm gonna give it a quick sand down, and then just a quick blending in. So now I was using the rubbing compound. Again, this is from Halfords. Quite cheap, really effective stuff. Now obviously the paint, this is a couple of days later, the paint had not fully cured, but it cured enough that I could use the rubbing compound. Also this paint is obviously fresh and new, and the paint that I'm blending it into is what, 10 years old if not older um, so you don't want to make the new paint look new because it won't match with the older looking paint if that makes sense it kind of makes sense you want to you only want to take it to look in to the same detail as the paint that's already on there the rest of the car sort of thing so sort of, I think that's the art blending not going too much and not doing too little to be fair as well with the um, spray paint, I really didn't have much orange peel in as well. So this in the bottle was actually a um, teacup, it had separated into a clay ball. So I just put it a lot of shaking and it split the bottom of the container because the bottom of the container was really old. Um, so then I had to put it in a Lucasay bottle and shake the crap out of the rest of it just to get it to solidify back into being tea cut as we all know and love it or hate it. I think I went over this twice with this tea cut. This little blemish in the middle as well, that will hopefully pull the MOT, MOT inspector's eyes away from the actual bit that was there because obviously I don't want him banging it with a rust detector tool that they use. So now a couple of goes of car wax. So washing down, literally the powder was everywhere. So washing down the whole of the side of the car just to see where I'm at. Uh, is that a clay bar? Did I, put, did I clay it? I think I might have clayed it slightly as well. Right, so this is the stuff that I used on the handling the side, the detailing, it's really amazing stuff. This stuff I decided to leave black, um, two coats, and then moved on to the underneath just to seal it. Now I know some MOT inspectors, they will mark this as couldn't test seal due to black gunky stuff covering up surface. 
along those sort of lines, but it's going to aid for there's there's little lines that you can see there. Those little lines there. That's just dust and stuff. But believe me, that's not there now. Um, on this one, I believe I got rid of that. I've done this, the same on the other side as well. Just kind of smartens it up. Just protects it a little bit more as well. I uh, hope you all enjoyed watching. Please uh, leave some comments if I've done anything wrong, if you've got any suggestions, what to do next time. That would be great. Thank you. And that's that. I feel free. Over and out.